good morning again, friends. Uh, wow, what a response uh, I got to the somatic ex exercises yesterday. Thank you so much. Um, so here we go, another morning. This also gets me up and going, so it's great for me. And I'm just so, so grateful if community at large benefits. Um, so let's take a moment to breathe. Good morning, another day in the pandemic, another lots of news coming to us and, and it can be really disorienting. So just a little reminder to slow down. When we slow down, A, we notice how we're doing, B, we notice what we might be missing. For example, I've forgotten to take one of my meds for like several days. So ah, these are disorienting times, which is why we're doing this, right? Um, so let's start with a breath. It's always a really good place to start. And let's start with checking in with ourselves. So let's take a breath. And if you wanna sigh on that breath, please do, it's so good to make sound. Let's take another one. Ooh. And before we do an exercise, I've got another exercise that I wanna share with you that's different than what we did today. Um, I would really like to invite you to check in with yourself. How are you doing today? Just just take a moment to check in with your body. You know, where are you maybe squeezing and contracting and where are you more expanded and relaxed? How are, how's your breath? Such an important place. Yeah, the breath. How's your heart in every way, physically? Um, how fast is it beating, but also emotionally, how's your heart? And how are your thoughts? So we'll always start with uh, taking a little bit of a baseline. So take a moment to check in with yourself. And as you breathe and check in with yourself, try to do that with as much curiosity and as much non-judgment as you can manage in this moment. Um, make sure you don't judge yourself for judging yourself. That seems like a slippery slope we don't wanna go down. So yeah, just take a moment to check in how you're doing. Just be curious. We're not trying to change anything right now. We're just noticing. I know it can uh, be hard to say with ourselves, so I'm not gonna do this uh, for overly long, but this is, it's always good to come back in and check in with ourselves. So, and then take a moment just to notice where you are. Um, I'm looking outside and it's not as sunny as yesterday where I am here on the Kodani Shinabe land. It's looking a little gray outside. If you cannot see outside, maybe look around where you are right now. And just take a moment to take in your surroundings. Like I said, those are disorienting times. So taking a moment to take in ourselves, take in our surroundings at the beginning of the day can be a good thing. If your feet are on the floor, feeling your feet on the floor or the seat or couch or bed or floor underneath you, wherever you're sitting, and this morning, I want to share a practice with you, which I learned in somatic experiencing, and it's called vooing. And I'm really not sure where Peter Levine got it from. So um, I'm sorry about that. I do try to know where my practices come from. But um, the idea of vooing, it's um, that it helps kind of relax the ventral vagal, so kind of um, ventral vagal nervous system. So kind of um, part of the nervous system that's in our belly. And the way the vooing works is that we're gonna take a, a deep breath in, as deep as you can make it this morning. Um, and imagine that the breath is coming all the way from your feet. And then on the out breath, we're gonna say voo, voo. And the idea is to sound like a foghorn, doesn't have to sound pretty. Um, it's probably gonna sound weird through Facebook, but I'm gonna go for it. It's a little dorky, um, and that's okay. Um, but And we're gonna do that three times. Um, I will demonstrate so you know what I'm talking about, 
and then I will do it three times. So breath in. And you want to keep going with your breath until your breath is all the way out, even if the sound is gone. So I was still breathing out for a little bit, even though the sound is gone. Now we're going to do it together three times. And if you can't do it right now, maybe you can do it later. So try to get some vibration going in your body. And after you've been vooing according to your own lung capacity, just notice how you're doing. If your eyes were closed, take a moment to kind of just slowly in your own time, come back to the room. And just notice how you're feeling after vooing. Again, taking in yourself, taking in your surroundings. And this is a practice you can come back to whenever you need. Um, like I said, it's called vooing. I've learned it from somatic experiencing. I'm not sure where Peter Levine got it from. Um, but the idea is it relaxes kind of our ventral vagal nervous system, part of our nervous system that's in our gut. <sighs> and breath is going to be such a useful tool to come back to again and again and again during this time. I really invite you to breathe, vu, sing, um, and slow down. Take a moment to slow down and look around. And talking about slowing down, let's slow down again and check in with ourselves, with our body, with our heart, with our mind, knowing that we're all one, but you know, sometimes it's easier to kind of check in with one system at the time. So however you're doing this today, good morning. Um, remember that you can always come back to breath. I hope the vooing practice that I shared with you today was useful. Um, I'll be sharing slightly different practices every day. I'll come back to some practices. I will also save the videos so you can always watch them later. And um, remember to always come back to breath if you're feeling um, a sense of urgency or if you're feeling agitated and a little tip if you make your exhale your out breath longer than your in breath that helps um, your kind of uh, parasympathetic nervous system come into play so it helps the kind of relaxed response a little bit more so you might want to kind of breathe in one two three and breathe out one two three four five it doesn't have to be super long and always breathe according to your lung capacity. Thank you so much for sharing this morning time with me. I'll be here again tomorrow at 8.20 a.m. Central Standard Time on what we currently know as the United States. And I hope you are staying connected despite the physical distancing and take care of yourself. Have a wonderful day.